Hey guys, my name is John with eSilencers.com, your NFA weapon specialist. Today's video, we're just going to do a quick review on two suppressors that's actually been out for a while. Uh, they're made by Q um, out of New Hampshire, which is one of our top brands. They're known for their iconic Honey Badger, their Fix, and the Mini Fix. These are their flagship suppressors. This is their, basically their standard um, do-it-all AR bow gun suppressors. Uh, mainly used for AR type platforms, but um, we've got their standard suppressor, which is considered it's called the Trash Panda, and then we've got the uh, their L version, which is called the Thunder Chicken. Um, and again, what I mean by standard and L, the standard is more of your in the middle type, six seven inch type suppressor. Um, your Thunder Chicken, which is considered your L, which is your long, which is more of your longer suppressor in the nine, eight to nine to ten inch range. Um, and basically, this is what they offer as far as their suppressor line. Um, they are coming out with some steel suppressors eventually, um, maybe in a couple years or maybe even sooner. Uh, but these are in titanium, and uh, we'll just kind of open them up and check them out. This is the Thunder Chicken, just to give you an idea what it comes with from the factory. The fine print, which uh, you always want to read this because it's got some crazy stuff in there. <laughs> some cool stuff, some funny stuff. Um, once you go black, I always like that. Um, and here's just kind of an overview of, of how to do, um, pretty much putting your, your muzzle brake on your, your AR or whatever you're putting it on. Um, and then a little marketing for gun owners in America. For the factory, it comes with uh, two cherry bomb muzzle brakes. Um, one is threaded and uh, let's see which one it is. It's this one. This one is 5 8 by 24 for your 300 blackouts, your 7.62s, 6.5s. Uh, and then this one is half by 28 which is going to be for your 5.56s um, and some of your smaller barreled uh, boat, boat guns like your hunting rifles, some of your 270s are threaded half by 28. One thing good that Q did a couple years ago, uh, they had some, some issues with um, people accidentally putting brakes on guns uh, that were bigger than the bore. Uh, they actually bore these out, the half by 28s now. So just instead of being exclusively for your 224 and below, you can now use it up to anything up to 30 caliber. So this will be this will give you the opportunity to be able to thread it on your hunting rifles that are larger caliber than your 223 or 224, but uh, the threads are they, they can't thread them to 5 8 or something like that. They have to thread them to a smaller thread like half a 28. So this gives you the opportunity to be able to stick it on um, your hunting rifles. Very good idea that Q did. I think a lot of companies are doing this now, but this was a very good uh, idea. This is a very good uh, move by them to do that. Uh, anyway, just taking the suppressor out, it comes with a cool little sleeve with a thunder chicken on the front. So this is the suppressor itself. Um, diameter of the suppressor is 1.75 inches, so this is a thicker diameter suppressor. Just a side note about that, the one thing I like about the thicker suppressors over the, the smaller diameter suppressors are the tone. Uh, I feel like the tone is deeper on these thicker suppressors. I think it's a lot better than the smaller diameter suppressors. The silencer weight is 14.7 ounces. Uh, the muzzle brake weight for each muzzle brake is two ounces. So you're basically looking at a little over a pound uh, of additional weight on your gun. So when, once you add the muzzle brake and the, the suppressor, you're basically looking at basically a little over a pound. Uh, the overall length is, like I said again, we were talking about earlier about the L's. They come between eight and 10 inches. The overall length of the suppressor comes in a little over eight inches, which is eight eight point one three inches. Again, we talked about the, how it attaches. This is considered a quick detach. It comes with a a um, they call it a Plan B. You can buy the standalone Plan Bs for non-proprietary suppressors like the Vox, the Nomad, uh, the Silencer Co Omega. They all use they they all can utilize the Plan B system by Q. Well, the the Thunder Chicken comes with the Plan B automatically, which is Really not considered the Plan B because it's not standalone, but it's the same mounting system as the Plan B, and it, it basically utilizes the Cherry Bomb. And just to give you an idea, just to kind of show you how it does, it's this is it's on the gun, it threads onto the Cherry Bomb, so it's quick attach with a tapered thread, which uh, 
one thing I think we've talked about in other videos, um, this taper, uh, what it does is it keeps the carbon that comes out of the brake, the hose and the brake, it keeps the carbon from building up on the thread. So this taper helps a whole lot uh, when you're shooting, especially when you're shooting over the gun a lot. Uh, these guns can be a lot really messy and it helps to have the, have this taper because it literally, and I've, I've taken pictures on our Instagram page before showing how dirty these muzzle brakes get, but all the carbon is literally right here and it literally stops right there where that, that, that taper is. There's no carbon builds up on these threads. That is really cool. Um, something that Q is known for of, do, of being really innovative and they do some, some really good stuff and that's one, one thing they did that was really that was really cool um, and it, it makes these things really popular. A lot of people, we sell a lot of these cherry bombs in Plan B. So this is a very good quick attack system and the Thunder Chicken again utilizes this, this, this quick attack system that's, uh, that, Q is, that Q came out with. Just to talk about the material it's made out of, this is 100% titanium. Uh, titanium is expensive material to make. It also can be difficult to make, um, but it's very, very, very good quality material. It's also, it, one thing that titanium is known for is how lightweight it is. A lot of your standard L suppressors are coming in at roughly 18 to 20 ounces. This one again, with the muzzle brake included, is coming in just shy of one pound. So that is super lightweight for an L suppressor. Uh, the last thing we'll talk about in the specs is the finish, the coating. This is considered a PVD coating. It's almost like a charcoal gray color. Um, that's what I would, I would consider it. I really like the color a lot better than black. Um, I just think it has a better finish. And um, as far as holding up, it holds up a lot better than Cerakote. I think, I consider it to hold up a lot better than Cerakote. I've had a lot more success with these suppressors, this PVD coating, than the ones that utilize Cerakote or other, other finishes. All right, I'm gonna do the review on the Trash Panda now. This is gonna be the standard version. Uh, this one's probably fairly a little bit more common out there, probably a few more out there than the uh, Thunder Chicken, mainly because it is the standard suppressor. It's kind of like the happy medium. Um, it's the one in the middle, not too short, not too long. Just to unbox it, it comes with a cool little cover art. Q's always got some good humor, as you can see. Um, and it comes basically similar to the Thunder Chicken, except it's not got as much art. There is a little bit under here, uh, maybe some instructions and stuff. But um, it comes with a little cool little sleeve that's got the, the trash pan on it. And as you can tell, um, actually, We'll do a comparison here, just to give you an idea of the difference. We got the Thunder Chicken right here, and the Trash Panda. Uh, as far as the specs on that, I think it's about an inch different. We'll go over that here in just a second, but as you can tell, there might be a little over an inch difference between the two. Um, anyway, to return to the, to the Trash Panda. Uh, Trash Panda comes from the factory just like the Thunder Chicken with the two muzzle brakes, the Cherry Bombs. 5 8 by 24 for your 300 Blackout 762s, 6.5s, and some, a few other calibers. Um, and then that's going to be this one. And then the half by 28 is going to be for your 223, 224s, um, and your smaller barrel hunting rifles like your 270s and stuff like that that need to be threaded to a smaller thread. Uh, just like the Thunder Chicken, they're both bored out. Oh, well, this one's bored out. Um, they're both 30 caliber. This one's bored out to 30 caliber as well. Uh, that way you can shoot it on your larger calibers, like your hunting rifles, that cannot be threaded to 5.8s. So, just to go over the, the trash banners a little bit. It also comes with a quick attach, just like the Thunder Chicken. Um, again, like we talked about earlier, uh, you can buy this same quick detach system. It's called the Plan B, um, and it, it's a standalone adapter that can mount to non-proprietary suppressors like the Vox, the Nomad, the Omega by Silencer Co., and there's several others that can be done the same way. Uh, just a side note, the, the Plan B quick detach system and, and other standalone adapters are coming really popular. So a lot of the suppressor brands now are, are coming with non-proprietary um, adaptable quick attaches. A lot of them are coming with just direct threads from the factory. 
that are detachable. That way you can detach your own quick detach. So that's a cool thing that a lot of companies are doing now. Um, but anyway, uh, Q got it so right with their with their quick detach system, they didn't have to do that. So <laughs> Q also has their direct thread models. Uh, and if you want to know which ones are comparable, so if you want to go with something that's direct thread instead of going with the quick detach, Q does have ones that are comparable to the Trash Panda and the Thunder Chicken. The Trash Panda version is the Half Nelson. Um, so it's very, very similar to the Trash Panda, except it's got a direct thread instead of a quick detach. And then the full Nelson is going to be the Thunder Chicken's direct thread, direct thread version. Just to go over the specs real quick, um, the, the calibers, the rated calibers are just like the Thunder Chicken, 762, 300 blackout, 300 wind mag. Uh, that diameter is 1.75 inches, so exactly the same size as the Thunder Chicken. And the weight, that's where the difference is. The weight is 11.8 ounces, so just right at 12 ounces so that's really a lot for a standard suppressor most of your standard suppressors especially in stainless steel are running close to a pound if not more so that is um that is really impressive to have it that low um then of course your cherry bomb adds two ounces so you would be right at 13.8 ounces that's about roughly three ounces maybe a little lighter than the thunder chicken the overall length of this is 6.9 inches so this is pretty much in line with your standard suppressors. I think the Sandman S is at 6.8 or somewhere like that. So really close to the same length as your other standard suppressors. Um, big difference too, because you got the quick detach adapter. So some of your, some of your uh, standard suppressors, they come with a direct thread adapter that's attachable, but once you add the quick detach, you're adding extra length. So this one's already got the quick detach on it. So this is pretty much the length that you're getting from the suppressors. So, uh, once you add the adapters to some of these other non-proprietary suppressors, then that actually adds to the length of the suppressor, makes it making it longer than the Trash Panda. But this one is probably one of the probably one of the shorter standard suppressors out there. Um, it's also quick detach. We just talked about that. 100% titanium, and it's also PVD coating, so it's almost identical to the Thunder Chicken. Um, and we'll kind of compare do a comparison again. I mean, literally, they're almost pretty much the same. The only difference is the length. And of course, with the extra length on this, it makes it heavier. Um, so, big question. Why would you go with one over the other? So, there's really not a good answer there, but here's the best one I can tell you. It all comes down to what your priorities are. So, what are you wanting to do with the suppressor? If you're looking for a shorter, compact type suppressor, one that's not going to be as heavy but doesn't have to be super quiet then this one is the one i mean this is you can't beat a standard suppressor not a lot of length on any of your barrel um and you're still gonna get good suppression um and you're gonna keep the weight down so that so go with the trash spanner for that reason if you're looking for the quietest suppressor and probably i would say as far as I've seen from some of the research, this is one of the quieter suppressors on the market. It's definitely in the top five or so. Um, that would be the biggest reason for the Thunder Chicken is the, is, is the suppression. Uh, you got great suppression out of Thunder Chicken and uh, that makes a big difference. So I get a lot of questions about this a lot about what, um, you know, what would be you know what type of guns would go better with each one of these or or just or other brands too you know the other other l's and standards i always tell people the shorter barrels you know if you if you're looking you got a short barrel suppressor and you're looking for something you know something in the, you know that that's not going that don't, doesn't have to be short but you want you need to knock off a lot of you know not the, if you need to knock off a lot of the noise the thunder chicken is going to be the way to go because you already don't got a lot of lift on the barrel because the barrel's short so you're not, you're not really worried about adding a lot of length to the barrel. So Thunder Chicken is a good way to go. If you got a longer barrel, especially the 16 inches, this is where it really comes into play. I'm going with the Trash Panda, man. For sure on that one. Um, the Trash Panda just, to me, works better for your longer, your 16 inch standard ARs, um, you know, 16.5 inch standard ARs. Um, I would personally go with the Trash Panda for that. And again, for the reason for that is you got 16 and a half inches on your barrel. You want to keep it short. You don't want to add a lot of length to your barrel. You're saving yourself, I think, did I say maybe an inch or so, maybe a little over an inch of length. So that's 
you know, it's a little different, so that's a reason to go with the Trash Panda. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much the same thing. I mean, really the only difference is the length and the weight, so, um, and then the suppression. So, you know, if you, it just depends on what your priorities are. If one's, one's gonna be the other, that's what you go with, so. One other thing I wanna mention is um, the welds. They're full, rotary, welded, and this these are tubeless cans, so. I've noticed with a lot of the tubeless cans is, is the tone. Um, a lot of people call me, ask me, which suppressor I go with for the quietness or you know the sound, and I always say, if both are the same as far as the quietness, the decibel ratings are the exact same, I always go with the one with the deeper tone, and I always feel like the tubeless cans have a deeper tone, especially these two suppressors by Q. They're really, they're just really got a nice deep tone and they're really quiet, so. All else aside, I'm going with the can that's got a deeper tone. So, anyway, uh, that's all I got for the tabletop review of the Trash Pen and Thunder Chickens. If you have any comments, you can comment below in the video, and uh, we'd be happy to answer your questions.